going on guys? We are off to a fantastic start this week. Uh, just finished up my raw deadlift day. Yesterday was raw squats up to 217 and a half kilos for five triples. That's 480 or so in freedom units. Uh, five triples there, they all felt really, really good. Very, very minor pain in the hip on maybe set one and two, but other than that, fantastic feeling squats, which is so, so relieving. I can't even explain how, how good that feels. Uh, got into my bench shirt afterwards, spent a little bit more time warming up, which also I think was again a really good thing, and worked up to 217 kilos there as well, uh, 480, and probably one and a half board, two board from a touch, uh, but the press was way better. I, I kind of, I feel like I relearned the same cues over and over again, and they make things feel better, and then I forget them, and then come back to them when I'm wondering why things feel poor again. But my uh, left shoulder doesn't lock down quite as well as my right. So I'm kind of benching like this, and then wondering why my right shoulder is getting beat up. I sink my left shoulder down, everything moves better, the weight moves better, my shoulder doesn't hurt, etc. So that was yesterday. Today came in and did some deadlifting. Raw deadlift worked up to 340 kilos, which I think is 745, 750, somewhere in there. Uh, and that moved really well, probably eight, eight and a half. Not quite as, uh, as smooth as 330 last week, or sorry, 332 last week. Yeah, but seven and a half kilos more anyways, so I'm happy with that. And then I pulled eight sets of five at 275 pounds, which is 600, or sorry, 275 kilos, which is 606 pounds. So one more thing I wanted to touch on, we have changed our upload schedule. So we're gonna be doing Tuesdays and Saturdays, sometimes Thursdays if we have an extra video that week, but uh, that makes form check Fridays kind of awkward. So our form check Saturdays, or form check not Fridays, comes from uh, Joshua Murdoch. We got a ton of submissions. I'm gonna try to get back to everybody and even just give a couple pointers to everybody who submits a video. So again, the email for that is gonna be in the description below. It's just calgarybarbell2 at gmail.com. But submit your videos. We will be critiquing as much as we can and uh, we really appreciate being able to do this for you guys. I think it's a cool, uh, cool aspect of the videos and something I'm really excited about doing. So our form check today comes from Joshua Murdoch. And he's doing a low bar squat here with 275 pounds. So set up, everything looks good. Walk out, everything looks good. Could maybe lock the knees a little bit more. But the biggest thing I'm seeing, Josh, is at the very bottom of your squat, it looks like you're you're almost going, you're going, you're going too deep. Um, and that might not be a super popular opinion. But the way that I squat and the way that I coach people to squat is to go undeniably to depth but no further. You don't get any extra points for going further. The only thing that will happen is you will lose positioning, you will sacrifice strength out of the bottom. So the biggest thing I want you to do is I want you to try and keep your torso tighter and cut that depth a little bit higher. Uh, in the squat that you sent, you're really bottoming out and as you hit the bottom, you can see it, everything kind of collapses forward in your trunk. So what we want to do is we want to maintain extension, especially in the upper back, and just go as deep as your hips will allow. When you're getting to that point where you're starting to bottom out, a lot of times your hips aren't necessarily the ones stretching more, it's more your back and your torso that's compromising position to give you that extra bit of depth. So focus on keeping your trunk a little tighter, cut the depth a little bit, and we'll see a lot more strength out of the bottom, and I guarantee you'll probably still be able to get to depth. The other thing I might look at is maybe trying out some Olympic lifting shoes. Now that's something that's not always gonna work for everybody, but it looks like with the style of squat that you have, uh, it, it might be beneficial to make sure that you can get depth and keep your torso a little bit tighter. You got a fair bit of forward knee travel and that's going to be assisted um, by, by a little bit of heel. So what the heel does is it, it allows you to squat similarly without the same requirement for ankle mobility. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for all the submissions to the form check Friday, Saturday, whatever day. Just a reminder guys, we are running an awesome contest right now for all of our subscribers and anybody who's even not subscribed. So check out the contest launch video down below in the description and get the details there. Make sure you submit for our contest, win some cool Titan stuff and some free online coaching. Also wanted to mention that we are gonna open up the stupid setups to everyone, not just people who have bought apparel. Uh, we got a really, really good entry that we kind of can't we can't exclude it, it's too good. Um, so Dylan's gonna splice that into the video here. This one's for you, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> to Canada. And I hope to see more of these rolling in. So another thing about the contest, guys, I do wanna reiterate that all of the entries should be posted publicly. Uh, we are gonna be using the hashtag and searching the hashtag. 
We're gonna try and get away from DMs because that sort of detracts from one of the purposes of the contest, which is to sort of spread the good word and get everything out there. So we want people to see it. We want it to be public. So post it, tag us, use the hashtags, win some free stuff. Thanks again for tuning in. Thank you to everybody who's liked and subscribed and sent videos. Please continue to do so. Do so. Do so. Thank you. Thank you. Take off the top next time. Continue to ask us questions, send us videos, all that good stuff. We will see you guys next time.